God, medicine is so great. It's like amazing. It's like the best thing ever. Seriously, medicine is great uh, because you get to make a difference every day that you go into work. I love being a doctor because I love helping people and being able to see the joy when they heal and when they feel better about themselves. Speaking to the patients who have a lot of wisdom, anyone who's above 80, I love. I love it because I get to play with children all day and make them feel better. You get to help um, people on a daily basis. Um, every day is new. I feel like I, like I really make a difference. Infectious diseases doctor and I like puzzles and figuring out what's wrong with people is a bit like solving a puzzle and I really like that. I'm definitely not a doctor because I'm way too scared of blood. I can walk around every day, see new patients and also interact with people and help make a difference to people's lives. Motivation for our organisation, individuals, myself, is to serve the guests of God. I love science, but I wanted to also help people and work with people. And medicine was the profession that combined both. Well, I'm a PhD doctor, which is kind of the same, but more fun. I enjoy problem solving, interacting with people, and uh, making a difference to their lives. And this profession allows me to do all three. Because every day is different, um, you form relationships with patients, and you can see someone from start to finish in, in any uh, stage in their life. And it's a journey that you go on with the patient, and that's what I enjoy. It is thrilling. It's also very good for the society and to help other people. And on the top of that, you never get bored with your profession. I believe if you help people, Allah will help you. I realize that global health works because there's such great participation of many, including the Muslim Doctors Association. So the United Kingdom is extremely important in global health. It's so inspiring to see such skilled people using their abilities in compassionate and innovative ways under challenging circumstances. We need to address inequalities in everything we do, in our work, in our play, Wherever we are, we need to remember that we're the fortunate, that there are many who aren't so fortunate. And we need to help them raise their level to the same level as ours so that they can have the dignity and respect that we have. We must respect all, we must raise them out of poverty. And I would just say that the time is now. Our minds, our brains cope with linear thought. Currently, the world's going to make changes. It's exponential, it's changing so rapid I was actually imagine what's going to happen in the next two, three years. And that's the type of thing we want to embrace. For me, this is the most exciting time ever to be a doctor in human history. There's so much going on. If we can't embrace it now, then we've lost the whole opportunity of the future. We're going to look at how we empower ourselves and our patients in that field. I was very adventurous chap when I was young. I told Sheikh, what I'll do is I feel this is a godsend opportunity. I'll bring in consultants from India. I'll do a research about possible setting up a private medical school and a hospital in UAE. Charity is more than just, you know, the number of blankets you give out, the medicines you give out. It's, it's, it's the kind words, it's the, it, it's the dealing with unkindness that's thrown your way, which I have had a lot thrown my way. And, and I got really, really close at times to just saying, I don't need to do this anymore. You know, I can just come back and locum and be a GP. My husband and I were on our way to Australia, so we thought. When, when all this kicked off, and my, my volunteer, my, my initial volunteership was for just 10 days, I didn't realize that it was going to end up taking me to a lifetime, inshallah, occupation. Um, it is rewarding, despite the, the trauma that you see, it is rewarding, because they always ask you, are you going to come back and see us again? Please don't forget us. You know, we asked them once, what can we do for you? And they said, keep asking us this question, that's enough for us. It means that you haven't forgotten us. The friendships you make, you know, you meet different people, you network as well, and it's important in the evenings as doctors when you meet, you know, you, you share ideas, and it's very good. And it also raises awareness of what's happening in the world. All religion, all cultures welcome. You know, we, we, in my teams, you've got a Jewish nurse, you've got, you've got somebody who's uh, a Catholic uh, doctor, you've got all sorts of people there, and that's, that's the beauty of it. Um, Whether you're a health professional or not, there is something that everyone can do.